What up, y'all? It's Dominic369. Welcome to Occultism Unleashed. Today will be the first day in a series about planetary powers. So as we go through this short series, you'll be learning about the planet, its astrological correspondence, and its magical correspondence. If you pay attention to what's in the video, you are going to learn not only how Saturn affects your astrological chart, but how the things ruled by Saturn can be used to influence and change your life. So let's get it. Okay, so the planet Saturn, I have on a black shirt because the color of Saturn is black. The metal of Saturn is lead. The planet Saturn rules the sign of Capricorn. And the plants, you know, the tree that's sacred to, to Capricorn is the weeping willow tree. Now I'm gonna teach you something about correspondence. You wanna know how, why the weeping willow corresponds to the planet Saturn. We're gonna talk about aspirin. Aspirin is made from, from the juice from a weeping willow. You take aspirin to reduce inflammation. Inflammation restricts the joints movement. Inflammation affects the joints. Saturn rules the bones, it rules the teeth, it rules the joints. So if you understand what plant corresponds to what planet, you can treat the ailments that are governed by that planet. Does that make sense to you? In astrology, the planet Saturn rules the sign of Capricorn. But more importantly, where you find Saturn in your chart your natal chart, the house and sign where Saturn is found, you begin to learn where, where you are meant to learn at, where you are meant to have your boundaries at. If you're born with Saturn in the second house, it doesn't mean that you're going to be poor. It means that you need to structure your values so you have a strong foundation which allows you to create and build the high life that you want and desire. But if you don't have no foundation, everything you try to build is going to crumble. When you look at, you know, the ancient gods that are that predate Roman history, you know, you're talking about Osiris, aka Asar, Amun, Khonshu, you know, Saturn governs time, it governs death, antiquity. You know, people who have strong Saturn influence in their chart, especially Saturn in the first house, they may seem cold and callous. They may have very unattractive features when they're young, but look better when they're older. They get better with time. So when you look at Saturn and its planetary correspondence, you know, you, you look at, you know, Onyx. Onyx is, is, is one of the gemstones of Saturn. And Onyx is good for absorb, absorbing negative energy. It protects your foundation. Understanding the things that a planet governs will help you live your life better. Saturn rules the day Saturday. Saturn rules time, it rules eternity, it rules death. So if you're interested in communicating with your ancestors and working on your mediumship gifts, you don't have to do it on Saturday, but the best day to do it is on a Saturday because that rules death and the dead. That's why it's the day of rest, because if you're moving all around and active on the day that the dead are active, you're likely to bring them into your house. You're likely to have your ancestors that you 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 really don't want to communicate with their spirits to be coming around you and interacting with you. That's why the Sabbath is the day of the rest. There's rituals in everything you do. Everything. 
Saturn rules plants that grow underground. Turnips, beets, potatoes, carrots, radish, turnips grow under the ground. Garlic, onions. They have a have have a uh, correspondence to Saturn. So when you when you're first learning, because rituals are nice, but they're not necessary. I promise you that. When you're first learning, it's good to learn about planetary correspondence, plant correspondence, you know, the what met metals are sacred to what planets and things like that, because it helps you understand the energy and where that energy is rooted in. That's why I'm teaching you these things. But please understand that ritual is nice, but not necessary. The war is for your mind.